it's a napkin holder. The napkins are the sales. Joe, I just finished throwing out all this kind of stuff. Last thing we need in this house is more junk. My son had to make that for school. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's really good, especially for a 10-year-old. Well, actually, I made it for him. Oh. Marion just told me we only got a C for it. If only I had beveled those edges, I just know I could have gotten a B. So, uh, you saw Marion today, huh? Well, I, um, uh... Did you? Oh, this is silly. What am I doing this for? What am I making a big deal over this? I had lunch with Marion, that's all. Yeah, so no big deal. <laughs> so you had lunch with your ex-wife, you know? Someone you're no longer married to, who you no longer love. I mean, it is no big deal. Why'd you think it was? Well, because, um, sometimes you get, um, uh, well, how can I say it? Well, say it. Every once in a while, you get what I would call... What? What? A little insecure. I... I... I what? That's ridiculous, Joe. I mean, that, that makes me laugh. Why should I be insecure? I mean, just because I used to be 60 pounds overweight. I mean... Rhoda, I want you to think of yourself the way I think of you. How do you think of me? I love you. Oh, Joe, do you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yes? Of course I do. Oh, I mean, love me. Uh, yes. Oh, all right, okay. Listen, I, I don't think it's such a terrible thing, you know? It's nine days since you last said it. Nine and a half. Look, the important thing is, Rhoda, put it down. Put what? it down, <laughs> sit down, listen to me. Okay. The important thing is for you to love yourself. Where'd you get that? Off a Hallmark card for rejection? <laughs> You're not taking this seriously. No. Now look, Rhoda, Rhoda, I want you to permit yourself to be a more secure person for both our sakes. I, I, I don't know what else to say to you. I'll give you a hint. It's three little words. Oh, come on. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> you said it before. Do you remember about love? Come on in, Bren. Hi. Hey, Bren. Hiya. What's up? My rent. Huh? Yeah, they just raised my rent 50 bucks a month. Which means that I can't even afford to live in a dump. Fifty dollars. Yes. Brenda, I, I, that's incredible. I don't believe that. What are you, you going to do? I don't know. I don't have the slightest idea how I can come up with that much extra money a month. I got it. I'll give up cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Brent. I mean, if you can't handle the rent, maybe it's time to cave in and get a roommate. If you ask me, a roommate would cramp her style. What happens if Brenda has a date down there? Mm. Oh, so once a year, I would give her movie money. <laughs> oh, come on. You know, sharing a place with someone, that would be tough. Oh, yeah, you said it. That is tough. I ought to know. I've been burned by 17 roommates. And that's counting the twins as one. <laughs> oh, I remember this one banana. She used to traipse through the apartment whenever I had a guy there, in her baby doll pajamas. Mm. Oh, golly, Rhoda. I had no idea I was breaking in on you. Never dreamed. Oh, in my wildest dreams that you would have a date. Hi, honey. Oh, oh. Brenda, I'm telling you, you gotta really be careful. I mean, the competition from some of those... What are you worried about competition for? I mean, what have we just been talking about? Mm. Well, listen. One good thing, you don't have to worry. You're not near as insecure as I used to be. Are you kidding? My life goal is to be as insecure as you used to be. <laughs> Come on, you guys, will you help me decide what I should do about getting a roommate? It's a big step. I need a vote. Well, all I know is my life sure got better ever since I got Rhoda for a roommate. Oh, well, you know that... Uh, Joe, I appreciate that really terrifically wonderful thing that you just said to me right now. It's great. I don't know, no. Just uh, Not that I needed it to be secure. <laughs> well, Rhoda, I don't have a choice. I need the money. I need a roommate. Yeah. I'll take an ad in the paper. Yeah. That's good. What, what should I say in the air, huh? Mm. Oh, how, how about this? How about, um, wanted. Roommate to share, classic jewel of an apartment with easygoing, clean, yet hip single girl. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that's good. Except you didn't say that you want the roommate to be female. Oh, yeah. Too bad it's too late to change it. <laughs> So we interviewing this morning, Brent? Yeah, three. Rhoda, will you look at this? What am I going to do about closet space? What do I do if I get a roommate who wants her own hanger? <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Here goes. Okay, okay. Ma! Hi, 
girls. Hi. Mom, what are you doing here? You promised me yesterday you wouldn't come. I know, but I've been thinking it over and I changed my mind. Why should you have a strange girl living in the apartment? I'll give you the money. Ma, please, you know I'm not going to take money from you. I just got to do this on my own. Did you come into this world on your own? No. I gave you a little push then. I can give you a little push now. Ma, Ma, please, couldn't you just go home? Or if you don't, I swear that I will tell Aunt Rose that you told me that she never enjoyed you-know-what with you-know-who. <laughs> All right, I'll go. But could I uh, use your bathroom for a minute? I'd like to powder my nose. Sure. Oh, Brenda, don't let her go in there. Oh, ma, ma. Ma. <laughs> Too late. You know, we've both just fallen for her oldest trick. Mm. She'll be in there powdering her nose until her roommate shows up. <sighs> the first one doesn't arrive soon, she'll look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> Doesn't take long to powder a button nose. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm Brenda Morgenstern, and uh, this is my sister and my mother. I wouldn't live in this dump on a bit. <laughs> sure, it's too bad. I kind of liked her. Why don't you come up to my apartment? That's no, nothing. no, here is fine. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Brenda Morgenstern. And I'm Heather Andrews. Hi. Hello Hi. there. Hello. Uh, do you all live here? Oh, no, 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 just me. Come in. Okay. Uh, this is my sister, Rhoda. Hi, how, how do you do, Heather? She's here because it's such an awkward situation. I didn't know what kind of questions to ask. Oh. Uh, what country does your mother come from, dear? <laughs> America. Oh, well, the reason I bring up mothers is that, uh, you probably don't know this, but I'm not their older sister, I'm their mother. <laughs> oh. Brenda, show Heather around the apartment, <laughs> why don't you? Uh, Heather, this, uh, this is the bedroom here. And this is the bathroom. And over here is the kitchen. And here we are, back in the living room. Would you like to see it again? Well, no, I don't think so. It's kind of small, but God, I love the way you decorated it. And I'm really in a, a bind, so maybe... Oh, well, great. Since you like the place and you're in a bind, and so am I, then I'll just consider it. Well, great. Here. Here's my number, and I'll just wait to hear from you, okay? Okay. Okay, terrific. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. So long, Heather. Bye, dear. Bye. I didn't like her looks. <laughs> Rhoda, what was that poke for? Did you forget that poke, Brenda? I'm ashamed of it. I mean, that poke is an embarrassment. It was a, just an automatic response based on an old insecurity of mine. You know, my lifelong fear of beautiful blondes. But forget it. It's over. That girl will make a great roommate for you. Don't listen to your sister. I mean, what do you need a beautiful girl around the apartment for? Don't you have enough troubles? <laughs> you know what's wonderful? I never have to ask myself why I am the way I am. <laughs> I'm all through in the bathroom if you want to take your makeup off. I already have. <laughs> Son of a gun. Look, uh, Heather, now that we're roommates and all, I mean, we're going to be living together, so do you mind if I ask you sort of a personal question? I guess not, shoot. What's it like to be so beautiful? What a good question. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not really beautiful. I just look that way. Now, even your name is beautiful. Heather. Yeah, it's funny how they can tell. I mean, all babies look alike, right? But your mother looks down and says, Heather. My mother looks down and says, Brenda. <laughs> look, you've got to use what you've got. I mean, you've got some wit and personality, and I've got a lot of looks. <laughs> You know, there are times when I find myself coming on to a guy, I don't even know I'm doing it. 
With me, it's the other way around. The guy doesn't know I'm doing it. And then a lot of times, I know exactly what I'm doing. I mean, it's like there's this beast inside of me. I just get the flirts. <laughs> you know what the flirts are, don't you? Of course, the flirts, sure. <laughs> Well, I just can't stop it when I get like that. It's almost as if... Oops, I'll go take it. Oh, okay. Hello? Yes? Okay, yes, everything's just fine. Oh, yeah, I really like living here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Friend, it's for you. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Lenny. Why do you want to know what she looks like? Lenny, look, make up your mind. Do you want a description or do you want to talk to me? Blonde hair, brown eyes, about 105 pounds. Oh, hi, come on in. Hi, you must be Heather. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> listen, um, I just came down here to uh, borrow uh, Brenda's uh, hair uh, dryer, Brent. You, you see, Rhoda, Rhoda broke hers right in the uh, middle of drying the hair, you know. And thanks, Brent. Thanks. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow night, huh? <laughs> But Rhoda asked you over for dinner, and she met you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I, um, I guess that I will uh, see you tomorrow night, then. We sure will. I'm really looking forward to getting to know you a whole lot better. <laughs> okay, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Uh, look, Lenny, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, goodbye. Just when you think there are no more great guys around. <laughs> You what? You meet one. Who? That guy who was just in here. Oh, well, he's not available. Let me put that another way. Over my dead body. <laughs> Isn't it funny the way that chemical stuff works? What, what stuff? Oh, you know what I mean. Well, you got the flirts, huh? Yeah. But he's married. So is my last boyfriend. <laughs> Hi, bro. Hi, Bran. Oh, uh, you almost ready? Almost, yeah. Oh, uh, who else is coming tonight besides Heather? Uh, Mom and Pop. Oh, Mom and Pop. Yeah. Okay, so far you have a very nice family dinner going. Maybe Heather would feel out of place with the family. Oh, no, she'll be okay. Rhoda, are you sure you want to invite Heather? I mean, I think I can get you out of it. No, who wants to get out of it? Brenda, see, you don't understand. This is a new me. I want her to come. Well, uh, Rhoda. What? Oh, nothing. Look, <laughs> come on, why don't you tell oh, me? Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> Rhoda, I, I, I gotta know whether to ask you something. And the only one I can ask advice from is you. But I can't ask your advice without telling you what it is that I didn't want to tell you in the first place. That's my problem. No, your problem is clarity. Oh. <laughs> now, just from the beginning, yeah. this thing that you don't want to talk about, yeah. does it have anything to do with Heather? Yes. Mm. That trouble that I was afraid of? Yes. Oh, we poor kid. She's after someone you know. Yeah. Lenny? Joe. I should warn you, but she hasn't done anything yet. You know, Brenda, sometimes in life, a thought, a feeling runs through your body, your brain, you act on it. Yeah. But if you just wait for it to pass... Well, what's going through your body and your brain Beating now? her up. <laughs> wow. You just listen to me. When are you going to come off it, Rhoda? Uh, I mean, this insecurity, I'm so tired of it, Brenda. I really am. And it's so boring. Let the girl come to dinner. I do not have to run from things like this anymore. No more. That's it. I'm a grown woman. Let her come. But Rhoda, why should you purposely throw them together? Well, now wait. 
There's no real problem, Brenda. We just have to look at it. Now, what do we got here? A beautiful girl is coming to my home for dinner, right? She's very attracted to my husband. So what? So am I. He's gorgeous. I can't blame her for that. Now, there is no real problem. There's no real danger. First of all, why would Joe be attracted to a girl like that? <laughs> Secondly, uh, why would she make a move? She won't. She knows he's married. It doesn't matter to her. And it doesn't matter to her. <laughs> Yeah. What did you bring dessert for? What dessert? It's the main course. It's a turkey. A turkey? Yeah. Oh, Ma, come on. What'd you do that for? You know, I, I made a roast beef. Well, you can serve them both, and then people can eat what they like, and what you have left over, you can have for lunch tomorrow. Yeah, great. Yeah, turkey sandwiches. Roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> okay, Ma, have it your way. Where's Pop? Oh, isn't he here? And you've been married as long as I have. You take it for granted they're one step behind you. Wow. <laughs> uh, he had to work late tonight, thanks. I was just being cute. <laughs> oh, hi, Ida. Oh, how are you? What are you wearing that for? What's that supposed to mean? Well, all of a sudden, you're wearing a plunging neckline. What is this, Harry Belafonte day? <laughs> oh, Rhoda, you're making me self-conscious in front of your mother. Why? Martin does it. Only you wouldn't notice because he wears a tie over it, but he does <laughs> Oh, Joe, what am I saying? Unbutton your buttons. I don't care. It's your buttons and your shirt, and I, I just, I, I don't know why I'm so nervous tonight. Forget it. Coming. Hello. Oh, hi. hi. Come in. Come in. Oh, Heather, welcome to my home. Oh, you look gorgeous. Doesn't she look beautiful? The girl is stunning. Um, uh, you've met my husband. I, I, I don't know. Uh, Heather, this sure, is Joe. Jo you have we've met. met. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was wearing a slip. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you laughing about? You really don't know what she means. Oh, well, whatever she means, it's funny. <laughs> uh, Joe, why don't you show Heather the uh, rest of the apartment? Oh, oh, I'd love to see it. Okay, let's go. We have a very nice uh, terrace. You got a better view from here. So, Rhoda, how's it going? Me? I'm doing great. I mean, everything is under control. She's got ugly hands. <laughs> you I know. I know. She's, she bites her nails. Right. When a man is used to these... Uh, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Who's worried? Do I look like a worried person? <laughs> Ma! Yeah. Stay there. <laughs> Uh, will you help me finish the table? Sure. Please? Thank you. <laughs> Why would you let Joe take a pretty girl like that in the bedroom? Why would you invite a gorgeous girl like that to Ma, dinner? Ma, what are you doing? Don't you have enough regard for your daughter that I don't have to worry about stuff like that? No wonder I'm nuts. You've been telling me stuff like this all my life. Oh, now, Ma, don't get hurt. No, no, no. You cannot have it both ways. If you have something to get off your chest, don't tell me don't be hurt. If you don't want me to be hurt, leave it on your chest. It's a pretty nice thing. Actually, there's a, an English uh, Windsor chair. Oh, Rhoda, I'd love to have a place like this. Uh, no, you wouldn't, Heather. You can do a lot better than this. <laughs> oh. Do you want your dinner on a plate, or shall I just dump it down his shirt? <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm just, forget it. Rhoda. Rhoda, why are you apologizing? Because I'm wrong. I mean, that girl is a guest in my home. I'll just get through tonight. I'll never invite her back again. That's all. It's that simple. Everybody calm down. Uh, come to dinner. It's all served. Oh, terrific. <sighs> yes, the wine is perfect. Thank you. It's beautiful. Oh, turkey. Oh, yeah. Mom. Well, Mom made it. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <so. laughs> Rhoda, what are you doing? What do you mean? I never expected you to do what you just did to me with your foot. Come on, cut it out. I did not do anything to you with my foot. <laughs> Don't look at me. I can't reach that far. <laughs> Well, 
Listen, it, <laughs> silly. Brenda or Heather did something with their foot. Let's drop it. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Heather, um, I don't know what to do here. Um, I don't know what to say. It's, uh... Uh, Joe, could I see you in the kitchen a moment? What? Don't ask any questions. I'm older than you are. In the kitchen and bring Brenda. I mean, I don't know what to say. What do you say to someone when they do something like that with their foot? I mean, what do you say? I don't know what to say. Shh. Rhoda will know what to say. Heather, listen, um... We gotta be friends because you have a big problem and I wanna help you with it. What's that? How you're going to keep me from decking you. <laughs> what do you mean, deck? To punch severely so you, you know. <laughs> but uh, forget it. Uh, tell me, was it one foot or two? No, 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 don't tell me. I've got a crazy temper. Uh, the details will only make me wanna throw the turkey in your face. Uh, <laughs> Listen, uh, what are we going to do here? Would you feel better if I change seats? <laughs> no, no, that will not do it. I'm sorry. What if I just get up and leave? Now you're talking. <laughs> that is terrific. It's a wonderful idea. <sighs> Heather, your shoe. Say goodnight, Heather. Oh, uh, good night. Listen, I forgot I have a previous appointment. I've got to run. Oh, Bye. Good night. So long, Heather. Bye-bye. Now I know why she keeps so thin. She never gets to eat. <laughs> to Brenda and I've decided to move out but I did want to talk to you about what happened here tonight oh okay Heather yeah what do you got to say your husband's an incredibly handsome man I don't know when I've enjoyed a talk more <laughs> what happened here tonight has never happened to me before I've never been caught <laughs> what kind of apology is that well I thought it was nice Okay, okay, don't feel bad. I, I think people like you probably don't get much practice apologizing. What do you mean, people like me? You're just like I am. You're a beautiful woman. I accept your apology. <laughs> Wait a minute, Heather. I mean, did you really mean what you said, that I'm B-E-A-U? Yes, you are. Are you saying I'm as beautiful as you are? No. <laughs> I'm saying that in your own way, you have a certain... smart, very smart, because I want to stop you right there. I think you're beautiful. Thank you for thinking I'm beautiful. It was lovely seeing you. Good, say good night, Heather. Good night, Rhoda. Good night. <laughs>